Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull is one of those spearheading a push to keep any upgrade of Dunedin Public Hospital in the centre of the city. Recently, the South Today has spoken with two of Dunedin's members of Parliament, and this evening we're speaking with Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull. Good evening, Your Worship. Thank you for coming That's in. All right. This campaign, the initiative and the impetus, how is it going and who's involved? Well, it's going pretty well actually. We've had 2,000 people send SOS certificates or postcards or whatever they right. are, emails to various ministers. Uh, we've had a range of people of all walks of life and political affiliations come in behind. There's university students, there's medical practitioners, there's uh, medical uh, educators, businesses, business organisations. There's an, an enormous range of people backing it. Right, so there's, a, uh, there's support, there's desire to do it, there's definitely a need to do it historically and, and in terms of how long it's going to take to build, mm -hmm. especially looking at it took 24 years to get the, the last hospital mm -hmm. placed. Mm -hmm. This campaign, is it perhaps a little premature because ACC and DCC have yet to find an accommodated place? No, I don't think it's premature because if we wait till the decision is made, mm -hmm. it'll be too late. Right. So what we're saying is, there are two things, we're saying we need to retain a top flight teaching hospital and we need to retain it in the centre of the city. And those two things go together. Uh, and it's not, it, it's not good enough to say, well, the criteria are, what can we do for the price? The criteria should be the total value to the Dunedin community of keeping the hospital where it is as a top flight teaching hospital. Right, because there's been a price already attached to this. Yeah, there's, an, there's, a, there's a figure which um, someone in, in the medical profession said is completely unscientific of say 300 million but you've got to have a figure yeah and that figure was arrived at in my understanding when we knew we needed a new clinical services block now that a new ward block will either be needed or the current one drastically refurbished no one's too sure about whether that figure will be enough so one way to keep within some kind of budget is say well let's go to a cheaper place that's not good enough that would devalue or, or it would reduce the value of, of the hospital to the Dunedin community drastically if it were moved from the centre of the city. Being so splintered. The, the well, cheaper would, option is a splintered yeah, option. I mean, you've got, you've got medical students, you've got uh, uh, lecturers who are also specialists. They are wanting to work in the same area. It would be untenable to, for, a, for a, say, a, a lecturer to go from his ward round to the lecture theatre and have to take a bus in between. It, it, it fails in terms of economics and in practicality and in serviceability. Look, the economic sustainability of this city is dependent on the viability of its university. One of the um, jewels in the crown of that university, of our university, is the medical school and its connection with the hospital in the centre of the city. That's why it works. That's why it's absolutely imperative it stays there. Minister Woodhouse from the ACC, um, his own ministry, is want, wanting to enter into an, ag an agreement, an arrangement with the DCC. Yeah. Are you concerned with this arrangement that's been proposed? No, no. The ACC came along to the council and said, you have a piece of land that we're interested in considering. It's mm -hmm. the Frederick Street car park. Mm -hmm. And we, we had actually turned down approaches from other government agencies who wanted that land because we believe that it's highest and best uses for health slash education purposes. ACC came along and said, we want to put a building there, we want to put our staff in it, and it will be partly a medical facility. Mm -hmm. We entered into an agreement with ACC to allow them to do due diligence on that, nothing more. So we haven't agreed to sell it, and we won't agree to sell it for quite some time. Mayor Carl, we're getting, I'm getting wound up here, but there is lots more to discuss on this subject. Thank you so very much indeed for your time. Cheers. All right. Still to come on the South today, Queenstown has problems with, well, freedom camping, of course. And soon to come, tomorrow's ODT and your weather for the weekend.